Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm your host, Ron Mann, and today we're taking a look at Star Tropics for the NES. Star Tropics was developed by Nintendo R&D 3 and published by Nintendo in North America in 1990 and later on in Europe in 1992. It's a single-player action-adventure game where you take control of young Mike Jones on his quest to save his uncle in the tropical South Seas. The game is divided up into chapters and has a mostly linear progression. Star Tropics has two modes of play, the overworld and the dungeons. While in the overworld, you explore the islands and villages, pilot the submarine with Rob the Robot, how cool is that, and talk to NPCs. At the beginning of the game, you land on Sea Island and make your way to the first village. After a meeting with the village chief, it's explained to you that your uncle has been abducted. So he tells you to find a tunnel and make your way to your uncle's laboratory. Okay, cool. Well, here I am. Who are you? Stay away from here? Dude, I'm in a hurry to save my uncle. Get the fuck out of the way. Turns out, you need to talk to every single villager before this guy lets you in. This is a quirk of Star Tropics because this isn't the only time this happens. Later on, you get to a village and you find out the chief's daughter is sick. The chief asks you to help, you say yes, and when you try to leave to progress, this guy's like, whoa dude, you gotta talk to the chief's daughter. God, jeez, oh, fuck, okay, fine. So you walk your ass all the way over there, run up the stairs, and they're all like, yeah, she's sick. Yeah, I fucking knew that already, I talked to the chief. The chief's daughter is actually sleeping, so you don't even talk to her. Now this guy lets you leave. What's the point of that, exactly? The meat and potatoes of Star Tropics, however, are the dungeons. This is where you engage the enemies in combat, and your goal is to kill the boss and or make your way out to the other side. Your primary weapon is a yo-yo, but along the way you'll pick up sub-weapons, spells, and potions. Everything besides the yo-yo has limited use. The dungeons all have good design and the difficulty pacing is really well done. The first few dungeons are pretty straightforward, just kill things and keep moving. As the game progresses, so too does the difficulty. Not only do the enemies get stronger, but you'll have to solve puzzles as well, and they too can get quite challenging. For example, in one of the earlier dungeons, there's a dark room where you have to study the enemy movements to figure out where it's safe to jump. Later in the game, everything is much more aggressive and there's less room to breathe. It's one thing after another, and it's awesome. The challenge, however, is not always fair. Sometimes you may stumble into a trap and die. It's not enough to ruin the game, but to add insult to injury, when you die, you lose your potions, your spells, and your sub-weapons. Thankfully, most dungeons have checkpoints, but if you get a game over, you'll have to restart the dungeon, but even that's not a big deal. One criticism of Star Tropics is that most dungeons have the same aesthetic, meaning they all kind of look the same. Most, but not all. Later in the game, you explore ancient ruins, and at the very end of the game, well, I don't want to spoil it, but just know that you explore a very different type of dungeon. Star Tropics is a well-made game with lots of neat touches. In Dungeon 2, your goal is to save a baby dolphin. Right before the boss fight in a watery prison cell, you can actually see the dolphin. He sees you. Hope has been restored for him. Once you take a leap into the dreaded boss room, he watches as you lay the beat down on this loser. I just always thought that was so cool. Like, I feel like I'm actually fighting for something here. The overall goal of Star Tropics is to save Mike's uncle, yeah, but here it just feels more, I don't know, tangible. I absolutely love this. Some of the bosses also have some inventive designs. In the Lava Dungeon boss fight, you don't just shove your foot up the boss's ass. You actually have to search for and jump on switches to destroy his platform which drops him into the water below. These touches give the game charm and also helps it to feel fresh throughout. Lastly, there's not much to say about the music. Other than it's fantastic.
So there you go. Star Tropics is a fantastic action platformer with great music, fun dungeons, neat bosses, and tons of charm. With that being said, I give Star Tropics an 8 out of 10. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my content. It really does mean a lot to me. Please hit that like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.